everyone and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own DIY glitter glues using the Arteza Extra Fine Glitters. Now these glitters are non-toxic and they come in 54 different colours maximum. So this is the biggest box that they do so far. They also do smaller box sets of glitters as well. So look out for those if you're not wanting so many colours. But for just £30 or $32 I think it's absolutely fantastic value for money. Now, you've probably seen me use these on my channel before. These are called Stickles Glitter Glues, and they come in these pots pre-mixed, and you can get them in tons of different colours. They've each got a precision nozzle on the end for you to uh, apply it wherever you want on your colouring page. They take ages and ages to dry, which is the only thing, uh, but they're really, really effective, and I'm going to continue to use these in my colouring as well. But uh, they are quite expensive for what you get. So each jar, or they're not really a jar, are they? Each plastic uh, container contains 18 mil or five fluent ounces of glitter glue. So it's not really a huge amount when you look at the price because they cost upwards of two pounds each, sometimes three or four pounds, depending on which uh, site you buy them from, which color, there are some rarer colors and things. So yeah, they're quite expensive for what they are, I think. However, these 54 glitter jars, the whole box set for the whole 54 colours is just £30, which is about $33. And if you work it out, it's something like 50 or 55 pence per jar. Uh, so it's just so much cheaper in the long run. And I think you get more as well. So if we just have a look at the box first of all, I'll show you what you get if you buy this set. It's a cardboard box. You turn it over and you've got all of the different colours named and numbered on the back. There's 33 standard colours, 11 holographic colours, 9 neon colours and 1 glow-in-the-dark colour. So if you wanted to create an you know, awesome Halloween page with glow-in-the-dark elements to display, that would be fantastic. But there's nothing much really I can tell you about the glitters. At the end of the day, it's just glitter. There's no, you know, there's no real skill involved. There's nothing for me to really review apart from, you know, showing you the colours and things. So I'll open them up and this is how it looks. So inside, every single glitter jar has its own individual little hole within the box. So it's not going to roll around. It's not going to get everywhere. Actually, it is going to get everywhere. You can see there's some glitter on it already and I've only opened a couple of pots. Um, but, you know, it's glitter. It's going to get absolutely everywhere. But hopefully we can contain the mess a little bit with our um, with our technique. So here are all the colours you get and in the 54 set. As you can see, if I just focus it in they're all super super glittery let me try and get a really good focus on this really really glittery very shiny sparkly and there are tons of different colors including all of those holographic ones which are like this one here is a holographic one as you can see hopefully uh, you can see all the different colors of the rainbow in it when you tilt it from side to side that one at the very end is the glow in the dark one so you can't really can't really see it at the moment but uh yeah it works lovely so that's all the different colours that you're getting and now I'm going to show you exactly how I use them in my colouring books as a do-it-yourself glitter glue. Now you can use this technique I'm going to show you or you can get yourself some little pots of white glue or clear glue and then pour the glitters in, shake them up and you've got your own stickles or you can do what I'm going to show you now which is just to um, stick and pour so that's the method. So how did I get the precision that we're talking about with the loose glitter? And it's with these babies. So these are Sakura Quickie glue pens. And this is something I wasn't really aware of until a couple of months ago when I saw them in my local art shop. But I just sort of forgot about them. I thought, oh, they'd be handy for things, you know, but I forgot about them until I got these glitters and I thought they'd be absolutely perfect for adding loose glitter onto, you know, a small surface, a precise area. Now you can get these in individual uh, pens or you can get them in packs of three or more. They're really inexpensive. I think this cost me about five pounds for the pack of three. So basically what they are is they're just ballpoint pens that are filled with glue. And they're made by Sakura, so they are the same people that make the Jelly Roll pens. Now, if you've used Jelly Roll pens before, you will know that these pens are probably the best gel pens that you can use. They come out really, really thick, and uh, they're packed with glitter and metallic and whatever it is, whichever ones you buy, they're really, really, really good quality. Now, you'll notice when you use Jelly Roll pens that 
they have the, the, the type of nib that they have the, the ballpoint nib is when you press it down slightly you can feel the ball at the bottom just go up into the pen and it creates and releases this really thick line of gel ink and these glue pens are no different so they're made exactly the same and you can feel when you're putting it down on the page that even though they're super precise let me show you close up even though they're super precise they create a really nice thick line of glue and it's just exactly the same as your jelly roll so if you use those you'll know what I mean but that's how I've managed to precisely lay these glitters on this page now I'm going to show you a little bit closer up so let's zoom in uh, let's do let's do a pair of scissors why not so let's do this pair of scissors over here now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply as if I was drawing with a jelly roll pen just go over the precise area that I want to fill in with glitter and you can see that it comes out blue but it dries clear so you can see where you're putting your glue so you know that you're not going to go over the line so once you're happy with the lay down and it comes out as I say really nice and thick but still very precise once you're happy with your lay down that's when you can pour on your glitter now you used to do this at school I'm sure you pour on the glitter and then you shake it back into the pot but I've got a little quick tip of something you can use to get it back into the pot much easier. So we've put our glue down. Hopefully you can see that it's still blue because it's still wet. I'm going to grab, let's see, uh, where's that holographic silver? That would be a nice one. Here we go, holographic silver. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to open up the little uh, sprinkle side and just realise that it's still sealed. So let me just open that. Uh, there we go take off the little seal that you get inside the glitter put it back on and then open up the little um, sprinkle side so you've got a sprinkle side and you've got a pour side let me just show you because I know I'm zoomed in and I'm off camera here uh, so you've got the pour side for larger areas and the sprinkle side to sprinkle that's what I'm going to use so let's sprinkle it over our scissors that we've just glued there we go so hopefully you can see all that let's just move it in the light can you see the holographic properties of this it's gorgeous and then you know you wait for it to dry and you'll be able to pour it off but you know it can be a bit difficult sometimes to manage to get it back in the jar and that's when you need something that's got a little bit of a spout on it that's going to be a lot easier for you to do now what i use is a diamond painting tray so i'll just put this down uh, and this has its own spout on the end it's just a small plastic tray and it's just so much easier for you to get your excess glitter back into the pot now if you buy any diamond painting you get a tray with it even if you buy one for a fiver you'll get the tools uh, but you can get these separately very very inexpensively uh, on amazon and ebay and all places like that if you just type diamond painting tray it will come up and uh, once you've you know once you've got the glue and once you've got the tray you've got the tools that you need to ca carry on making your own uh, glitter glue so just that small outlay at the start it's going to save you money in the long run so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to pour it back onto the tray just do a little bit of a tap so that all of our holographic glitter has gone into the tray hopefully you saw that i don't know if i was on camera or not but i just tapped it like that and it's all gone back into the tray for you to pour back into your pot very easily now there is a little bit of glitter on the page around it as you would expect but just give it a blow and then it all disappears so let me show you close up what we've managed to create make sure you're all zoomed in so here is the holographic properties of that glitter and you can see it's very very precise it's stuck only to where we put our glitter glue our glitter no it's stuck where we put our glue <laughs> just as it has over here on these bits that I did before so you know very very simple tutorial this one just how to make your own DIY glitter glue without having to fork out tons and tons of money on stickles now as I mentioned the 54 set of Arteza glitters is currently on sale for £30 or $33 if you look in the description, there will be a Colour with Claire discount code for you to get an extra 10% off, making it even cheaper. I haven't worked it out, but it's probably going to be something like 30 or 40 pence per glitter pot. Uh, so there you go. 
really 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 fun to do quite messy but it takes you back to your childhood i feel you're getting loads and loads of glitter for your money you can pour your excess back in so you're not wasting anything and yeah i really hope that you've enjoyed looking at this and if it's something you'll be doing in your coloring books in the future do let me know thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon on color with claire